So when talking about millennial engagement, uh, quite a lot of information has been out there in terms of how to engage millennials. I've come up with three tips that we've worked alongside different companies and different individuals to figure out how to get the best out of your millennial staff. Tip one is to build a good rapport with the individuals. It's all about the relationship with your, their immediate manager and how satisfactory they are and, and how satisfactory they feel with the relationship at hand. You would always get the best results when you have a good relationship with a millennial and just people in general. Tip number two is to always look at the external factors. Um, when looking at millennials, it's all about how to keep them engaged. Home working and working from home is going to be a big push over the next, well, 12 months just looking at it, but especially over the next five years. Working from home has to be an allowance that is made as it comes to be now where it's an expectation set. And when companies are less flexible with this, then they're always struggling to get the best talent because sometimes you may work in, in somewhere quite far away, but the best talent is actually somewhere obviously further away from, from where you're based. Tip number three is to always look at millennials as just people. We're not that scary. Um, it's not really a big deal. We are like every other employee in the organization. So it's all about respect. And when you're dealing with millennials, the real focus is on empowerment. To empower a millennial is to get the best out of them. When people are, are talking to them as if they're children new to the business, when actually some of these millennials are going to be the future of your business. They will be the people leading your business within uh, 10 years time. Millennials are set to take up 75% of the working population over the next five years. So it's time that we start treating them right.